hello and welcome to another video where we're going to create um, this kind of compositing with angel so we will start with uh, our basic image where we're going to select from multiple images we're going to select the hand replace add a foot so we'll have it nicely all this background uh, retouching models and of course we're going to create uh, add wings add a podium add a background and a sky and of course uh, add some lighting elements and so on so it will be kind of interesting um, video going over some different techniques uh, maybe from other ones when i did with angel so we'll use the pen to isolation which is make easy and a little bit harder because now we work a little bit more on the shadowing with the person ceiling so we'll again go and work on this compositing so let's go ahead and start um, on this new project Okay, so let's go look on the images and uh, usually from photo sessions when I photo shoot I take about five six eight hundred images and it's for the reason the one thing when you're photo shooting now on a digital camera with the media that you can take literally thousands thousands of the images there's no point to uh wait and take be very scringy on how many shots you're taking Many times, like right here, I notice when I take all these different shots, there's slightly something is changing. Example, example, position of the hand, position of the eyes, hand. So, and it's very nice to after you can combine. So, like example, right here, I found this one I like to use. However, a um, couple things is different. You know, like her feet. We need to take it from somewhere else, you know, or maybe even use it something like that. So just look on the images. And for example, if I'm going to take this image, I really don't like position of this hand. It's look very flat, very bad uh, left hand. We probably go to select maybe even a hand from like this image and cut and replace it right there. Um, and maybe actually this one is look not bad. I do like position in the head here. Um, this one have a little bit better overall, but I don't like legs. So let's, you know what, let's go ahead and combine these two images. So we'll take position probably of the feet. And I'm just looking at position of the hand. Can we, yeah, position is cover. So we can go, probably this one will work a little bit better for us. Put it here on the pedestal and add layers um, but again analysis this is look a little bit better on a leg right here so I think we're going to combine from some different images and put them together so let's go ahead we start with this we'll go open in camera run and um, okay and in camera run what I want to do it's first We'll take our highlights and bring them down. So I don't want any overexposure, just a little bit. Take those tones down. Uh, how I say we don't care about clouds right here. We'll restore her foot a little bit back. And, but we also want to pop up a bit sharpened up. And I think that's all we won't do too much on modifying. So this is a one image we're opening inside the Photoshop. So let's go ahead and probably take this image I think let me see on the hand so we have a hand right here it's about same except right here you can see how little bit fingers I don't like it I think this one a little bit more interesting so we'll go open this one the same in camera raw and we'll do same things like we did with other image and camera we'll take our highlights bring them down so we'll cut this area and we'll cut this one We'll pop up our sharpness same like another ones and open and right here we should have it two images um what are we going to do it is kind of combine them so what i'm take first cut maybe this arm like right here copy and we're going paste right around there so we can go bring up and arm will go like right here and you can see it's already actually 
very easy. We just need a real line couple things. Okay, so right, yeah, we have a little bit right there. Okay, let's um, take slightly preview just overall so shoulders. Yeah, I think this way a little bit better. Okay, we can go 100%. Next, we'll just take it our create mask brush. Let's go smaller. We want to be sure it's a soft round brush. Um, black 10%. And we can just like right there start blending in. You know, maybe pop up to 30%. Just blend. Okay, if we get closer uh, right here to the hand. Okay, X, let's go, oops, control Z. I'm just pushing all buttons today. Okay, so right here we have our brush selected. Be sure we select our layer. There you go. We'll just be sure kind of like right there. Okay, X three will just little bit the edges going. We don't really care about background because it is will be um, blending with the clouds, but I just want to be sure we don't have kind of unwanted lines sometime. Okay, there is right here we have a little bit. Okay, we can go like there you go a little bit better blending here. Let's go set on a one and we'll just blend. Leave it better on the edge. Okay, I think right here we actually don't want to go too far because we have it. This seems coming, so let's just hide this little bit. Okay. There you go. Okay, that one was a little bit easy to do. So add a little bit of hands to this. Okay, um We'll see because we have the wings going like this on the podium, or maybe drop hand down. Well, we always can come back because drop down kind of give it us nice lines going this way as well. And this one leave it both. It depends what we're going. Okay, now let's go with up. We'll see. We have say it's you know sometimes hard to um, decide on these ideas. So let's go ahead. Now we'll select the foot. We don't need too much, just little teeny tiny copy. Okay, now let's go down here. Paste. Okay, this is definitely will be a little bit smaller. Okay, you can see right there. Okay. Now let's go create mask and on a mask X3 brush. Okay, we'll just go like right there. Normally what I want to do it is just be sure. There you go. We're actually not bad at all here coming. So we'll just 
restore a little bit food as well you can see before and after okay um next what i want to do it's actually control shift alt e command option alt e take all and combine them create new one and i'm going to create special mask but special mask only at the bottom right there we can do that or you know what i think let's uh before introducing um next element what i want to do we probably want to expand just prepare all overall canvas um let's go take the cropping tool visual content aware enable we have a new image create from all the other ones below and i want just expand this way expand more here there so we'll just have a little bit i know it's a little bit too much but it's give it us um workspace okay when we're done let's press enter so it will take and content aware should work very well we have it a little bit right black spot right there will actually should took it care of before because now we'll have a little bit bigger area to worry about um but it's no big deal because we still can do that okay so you can see definitely we'll have it this right there at least and you know what let's go to um patch tool and it should be very easy we'll just take patch tool and kind of replacing the one thing if you notice sometimes it can maybe darker so before patch tool would actually do does well if we take um just simple stamp tool and we'll just uh, go very very fast around here and i'm sure it's not aligned so just go from same point like right there so when you're done now we can go back to our patch tool and because our coloring is not black it should match nicer right there and all this will be replaced by the clouds i just want to be sure our texture is kind of same um same like what we probably want to do with a background right there we'll probably go to replace um and we i still kind of thinking in my head what i should do should i just isolate it you know what let's do that let's go ahead and isolate it it will make much much easier for us to do that so we'll take pen two we don't need to go all the way we'll just go from here okay just around like let's go closer now you want about one pixel in going so we don't take a gray color Okay, so we kind of done here. We have a few open spaces. We could still um, add a little bit more. Just come to around here. However, with the hair, what I usually done before with the hair, I use a different mask to extract. However, it's a dark hair and i don't think it will work very well we just use it a little bit blend in tool for this okay so let's go right click create vector mask and now we have our mask is done and whatever we modified it's kind of still be in there so let's go ahead 
and just duplicate it right now same one and actually what I want to do it's a delete oops control Z I want delete the vector masks so we just have it this kind of on the bottom and let's take care of some below stuff as well we'll just take our um, patch tool okay actually uh, let's go to patch tool right there so we'll just select this one and just kind of remove some of those beautiful clouds um, the clouds if you're interested they're made from polyfill which is the uh, same things that using two stuffed teddy bears or other plush toys so usually it's what I say this is a uh, uh, heaven clouds made out of the um, teddy bear guts so it's what it is now we know the secret of that of the heavenly clouds the teddy bear guts okay we kind of create this one let's go next um, just bring podium we will retouch we'll come back to the model and um, but I want just overall preview what we're going to do so we have several different podiums and I'll go bring them in so this is one of them and you can see we can actually put it like right here let's bring this below model and we can kind of see how we can place it so this is one podium you know we have another one just leave it different uh, this one may work but we need to kind of shift it a little bit no i don't i think this one a little bit better placement for this So like, like around there, actually we can scale just a little bit. So the foot, I'm just looking where the foot located. So I think that's a little bit better right there. It's almost, it seems like she will be, yeah, sitting on a podium. I think this is kind of better. Um, and you can see we already cover quite a bit on a background which is nice we're still blending background we'll put it clouds or other things and we'll just blend it and probably just blend some ground or rocks right around here so we'll see how it will go okay next next let's go find some of the um the wings the angel wings okay and i have it multiple wings so we can try different ones the newer one um, expansion I did it's this one it's a backlit so you kind of can see right there so they kind of have it with the lights but this is specifically just behind however I do like how they look so we may need it select um, different let's go just go without backlighting maybe something like this and i'm looking also you see on the wings so it will kind of go on, on the shoulders right there maybe okay let's put a few different uh, versions so we can preview which one will look better so this is the um, up these ones will a little bit darker wings i think this is yeah it's a little bit more black wings okay we'll go into those ones um you know we also have it kind of like these wings this one's look interesting so if we bring up okay let's align with the, her shoulders like right there okay, rotation align we can bring like right there and bring this behind the rocks this one actually may work a little bit nicer okay what i was meaning behind the rock we can just drop right there so they will go behind okay let's hide those ones i think this may work 
actually nice when I have it heavy composition and extended it's almost we always need it look for the extension for our composition so I think this one may work better we do want to expand a little bit more so for these ones let's go select expansion content aware we'll just go like around maybe here we'll bring a little bit down from both sides okay point let's go create it so it will take a little time it should extend just fine with us um, because we did create it um, kind of background so it should actually create well if it yeah it does did not do this job for us which is okay um, remember what we need to do we can take just our tool select and go down like this you know it's very easy to do to fix that problem and so you know what until we're doing this let me bring the same coloring a little bit down here just make it a little bit darker okay let's go another one Just be sure we have it. It's kind of a little bit darker look. Uh, do we have it? Yeah, it's okay. We got over a feed because remember we extract. So we'll go down this one. And I think this, I think this one will wings look work a little bit better. We need to add shadows and other stuff. But overall, um, they'll come up very nicely. Okay, and this is our podium still need to find now let's bring some backdrop uh, some atmosphere maybe like clouds uh, look and maybe some ground and we'll can after and I'm just going to use some of the sky overlays that I have it so we'll just go bring and drop one in uh, yeah let's do this one expand let's go just bring a right around here I think that should work okay we also need to set up something for the ground and uh, we can probably just find some let's look if the grass will work I just want to try see if this that will work texture well, texture maybe work actually maybe working okay let's put right there um we'll use it overlay heavy overlays with those ones okay i think we kind of preset at this point so now let's work on our model and first things of course in our model i'm going to create new layer and touch ups let's go call to champ let's go to um, parenting so we're kind of clipping to below so whatever we have applied it will apply to our model we're going to take healing brush and with healing brush normally just write small things like we don't need to worry too much about this but little imperfection and we'll just select and click and the reason is why because we have an angel and angels I think they have a little bit better skin than us hopefully and we'll just kind of selecting and you notice the texture is different be sure you select in close-up area then it will be will apply texture and if it's not you always can try again again don't worry about too much of the texturing because we're actually going to smooth out okay let's go look on the arms right here couple of things okay there you go eyes look fine we'll, let's look right there um sometimes like the zipper we can always just go and uh, just kind of leave it replace it let's go select side here 
fix a little bit. Where's I see what's going? I think that is look good. Okay, not big changes, just overall small adjustments. Okay, next what I want to do is move out. It's Control Shift I'll take command option Alt E, take all create together. Remember we're clipping them because we want to preserve our mask. And we're going to filter noise, dust, and scratches. And on dust and scratches, which is going to set maybe about 15, 14, click OK. As long as skin looks smooth, but we still preserve general shape of the. Um, we'll go create black mask, and now with the tool we can actually go inside, select a brush, 10%, and we can paint in some of the smoothness. I think actually what it does it's like do some of this noise created, and this is kind of funny because. We smoothing, we reduce some of this skin noise, but we'll later introduce noise. But what we noise we're going to introduce, it will have a different purpose. It's a purpose of blending together layers because we're using all these different resolutions of the layers. And some of them have it higher noise, some of them have it uh, low noise, or like right here, we're actually removing noise. And the other ones will just help us to keep them look very very nice and similar okay you can see just remove some details make it look more paint alike okay. let's go on our foot okay. right there So much, just a little bit touch up there. Okay, if we look at the mask, this is what we have it. And uh, sometimes a mask, if you notice, it does have it kind of like um, a line. So you maybe want to go to blur, blur, and just a little bit add a blur to this, mostly to this area, so it's kind of gets smoother. One thing, notice that you try to avoid lips, hair, eyelashes. You want to avoid it with this tool. So next, let's go again. Control Alt Shift E, Command Option Alt E on a Mac. Select. We'll go hair. This will hair. This is actually was smoothing. So we'll have it smooth on a hair. What I'm going to do is a filter, stylize oil painting. Will pop up with oil painting. Will be 10 10 1 1. So it's very easy with lighting enable. I want texturing. Bronze slip for the hair click ok and i want to apply even more texturing to the hair and we'll do this by filter sharp uh, sharpening unsharp mask and we'll just select a quite bit high value maybe 150 will should work on this one okay click ok that will give it a very nice texturing we'll again hold on alt or option click on a mask so it's creating black mask and now we can paint in the hair in the areas the way we want it. Okay, like right there. And you can see it is um, what it does, it's remove some horizontal breaking in the hair, along of the hair, um, how it's going, and it's live vertically. So it's the reason why it's look cleaner, a little bit more painting this way. And you can add in some multiple areas, like even can just very fast touch up a little bit right there on the eyebrows. Okay, we're done. Um, just overall, you can see how if you apply to dress, in some cases it may work well, it may clean up, but try to avoid some, um, almost because you can see it start kind of playing, but we're okay, we'll leave it there. So let's go ahead and create next layer. We're going um, Fill up with 50% gray, 100% opacity. This is, will be our dodge and burn. Okay, we'll go to clipping to layer before. We still all this clipping to our original model. And now we can use our brush. Black color, 10% opacity. Now we can kind of start painting a little bit more on the shadowing. We'll come back to paint more shadows. This is just to actually emphasize shape 
on a model. So it's not really working on a lighting effect. It's more. Okay. Kind of right there, so. Okay, just a bit on the face. Let's go add a little bit to the lips. Zoom out, you can see already her face just look a little bit more interesting, I think. Um, let's go to black color. We'll add more on the hands. As I said before, we'll come back, we'll do more with this. When we start having general lighting going, well, you know what, let's dim just a little bit on the hands so we don't have too bright. Okay. Add a little bit right there on the legs. Let's make it darker right here. Okay, let's go switch to the white. Just add some of the definitions a little bit. Okay, I think this is almost done. So we can see right here. Look a little bit better. Okay, um, let's go next. We'll go work start on the podium. So right here is our podium. We don't have any shadows on the podium. So we'll go to create new layer between let's call it shadows switch uh, blending mode to the multiply and now I'm going to just select color of the podium around there just leave it off and we can start painting uh, with 10% yeah let's go right there you can see we just kind of add a little bit Some of this area maybe even more because we definitely don't have lights should it not coming from there so we'll kind of hide we can add and remember lighting will go a different way so we'll have it soft light and hard light and this one is our very close up very hard light so this is kind of like almost and a soft light it's usually wider light And we can put those ones a little bit later. Okay, let me check right here. Foot. You know what? Let me play a little bit with position of this. Maybe. Right there. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, we have, oops, fly away. So we have it. Darker. Okay, let's go ahead back to our shadows. Come closer. And we can probably going to cheat honestly right here because you can see how food going. Um, we're going to add some cloud or something to mask. We could go and just restore or all food there very easy. How to say, however, we're just going to um, cheat a little bit on this. Okay, let's go back and add, because I move it, I'll just add a little bit more shadows. Like around there. Okay. Yeah, and we'll just need it after add shadows to Podium, another area. Okay, there you go. So right now she's look a little bit better, like she belong there. Um, right on top, let's go create new layer. And what's happening? Actually, we have it cast shadows. It is. Um, No, I cannot type today for some reason. Okay, same, I'll go multiply. 
and multiply mod it will have a darken but it's also hold it um, color information and I want just go and have feet right there we'll select color around there and we'll just go like you can see so we'll go darken okay kind of like almost make it coming from the rock because the rock will cast shadows but it's not just shadows it is um, color casted shadows okay like right there there you go so the feet will look a little bit better Okay, let's go to enable our wings and uh, yeah like i say let's go delete those wings that we don't go use it we'll use it this wing let's look a little bit better i think here um i think we have um, no it's fine i was worried about the hair right here we have a problem with the hair which is we can easy address and what we need to do is actually take all or our model group together let's go to call it model okay create a mask for the mask we're going to take on black color zoom in x one percent and we'll just uh, going very carefully go like right there okay these um, usually I do kind of like this blending without even um, just usually take and just blending however today we done with some other masking yeah I think that is good So we're kind of going I go right there. Maybe you don't just a little bit touch up right here. Not too much. Let's go to even more like four. Just a little bit. There you go. Well, we may need to do more on the hair background. Okay, let's go ahead and next re enable our cloud and of course yeah we have it right here we have here so let's go ahead 10 percent we'll just go again start blending and notice what i was saying you see how grainy is our cloud is okay i'm going to set first on the edge for about 50 percent so we have it smoother edge going right there okay now when we're done let's go back to 10 percent and just try to work uh, usually we can work with the hair another thing is go by color selection so because background is darker and her hair was brighter we could done with a color selection but I think this way just work fine because anyway we'll go to highlight oh right here we have teeny tiny element just sticking out okay let's go take care of this one oh, wrong button my windows button pushing just be sure it's smooth out there you go okay so we kind of done this one let's go now add a little bit more with the wings and for the wings we want to add actual shadow so we'll go create a new layer wing shadow okay we want to go clip to the wings this one go to multiply mode select again color of rock it's what generic 
and all just a little bit darken. Okay, just a little bit. We want to lights come from this angle, so for this one, I also need to create um, dodge and burn layer. Okay, again, go clip to the wings, switch to the soft light. Okay, we'll go to set black and white. Okay, let's go with the white first. We'll just highlight around this area. We're supposed to come light coming. Now we'll go darker, black, and we'll just hide a little bit. Okay, right there. Okay. Um, a little bit casting on her should be actually right around this area. You know what, let's go to the model. And we have this layer for this. You remember we have cast shadow, so it's what we're going to select. We'll select a little bit color of the wings. And we'll just go like this. So it's cast from the wings a little bit on her. There you go. It's kind of cast of the wings going on. Okay, so we're done with this one. Uh, um, let's now select on our wings. And then we'll go create a um, mask for the wings. So what are we going to do? It is a little bit mask ends of the wings. So they're not they're semi-transparent. Because right now they're very um, kind of visible. <laughs> what I want to do, I want them create translucency this so we'll go in the edges we'll add a little bit more like right there you can see clouds can be visible so we'll just add and right here just leave it on the end add translucency to this one wings don't do too much just a little bit but it will help blend them in kind of with the coloring a little bit better and of course, if you've done a little bit more, switch color and you can just think restore it back if you've done a little bit too much. Okay. So this is our cloud. And you know what? With a cloud, let's see if we want to reduce. Maybe something like right there. So we have a texturing coming through. Okay, right here we have our grass. Let's select um, mask creating and I hold down Alt or Option. You click so it will hide it. Now we can select our white tool and we can slightly brush in some of this. Okay, and you notice it's above. So we'll have it just slightly. Kind of like heel almost behind them. Okay, we create this heel. Next, let's go ahead, create. Um, we need to drop some shadows there. So we'll create new layer. Uh, link to our background grass. Let's go fill up with 50% gray. It will be our another dodge and burn. So we'll have a soft light, of course, dodge and burn layer. And now we can um, kind of set black color and just be sure it is right here dark. We may need to end up using multiply mode. Okay, but right now it should be work just fine. We'll add a little bit more. around here this is edge it's what i was saying we do need it probably make it darker um it is will be related to our podium right there we'll go create new layer uh, again it will be dodge and burn for us as well 50 percent gray 
be sure we clip it to our podium save to the soft light and now when we have it black we can actually add a little bit more to this darker so we have it there you go kind of creating because if lighting coming from this point it should be darker here we can always switch and add a little bit more lighting there okay so we created this um it's still maybe edge just still be floating kind of it does not going down so it's meaning under podium when you create another layer okay it's a drop shadow we'll go select to multiply mode okay go our brush black 10 percent and we can start just add right there i don't like this light strip kind of going so we'll see if we keep it or not. remove it but this um quite a bit darker and it should actually help a lot and we want to do this also all over even on a lighter area This is what our short shadows will create it. There you go. Yeah, now it's look a little bit more like it's sitting there. I'm gonna add a little bit darker. Okay. So let's go ahead right now. Look, okay, we have it here. It's look fine. Um, let's go select create global dodge and burn layer above everything. So we'll go create a new layer. Dodge and burn. And we'll probably create a couple more of those ones. The global layers. Because I want to adjust lights. But I don't want to adjust in a dramatic way. And this one will just help us right now. Properly set lights where it's coming from. We'll go like right here select to the bright white we'll go from this corner like it's going on her almost like god rays kind of going okay that's sideways like this let's go switch back to black color and add more dark and contrast right here okay. okay so we done this way let's go create a new layer it will take a second till my photoshop catch up with me we'll go create new layer we'll call it clouds and this is just help us to blend a little bit better and i'm going to use um Ron's brushes uh, you can pick up them from das 3d and i'm going to use the fog brushes but you can seriously you can uh, just type free fog brushes and find tons of them i'm just used to this it's why i'm using so i'm going 100 percent we're we'll going to use it white like this z let's undo that one and we can just kind of like add a little bit right there okay we'll go switch this to soft light just overall add but what i want to do it's just going behind where we have our podium just right there okay with the shadows let's go create new layer far fog will be and you can see it just help us to create this um, between wings kind of you know isolated like almost there you go just look a little bit more interesting okay let's go now um yeah i think 
and there you go um we could also create just to click and select and now let's go ahead again we'll go up front of the model i think this is actually good it's enough we don't need to create too much um, let's create new layer yeah and i just soften a little bit and we want to put it like up front of the model this is will help us um, I remember feet hiding so it will help us blend together our scenery so we can kind of like a going a little bit right there okay there you go if it's too much remember we always can go ahead take it down around there Okay, next what I want to do, um, it is add global glow to this. Actually, before global glow, let's add a little bit more painting even more. So control shift alt e command option alt e to everything. And uh, we'll just call it oil. Okay, we'll use the same things. So we'll go filter, stylize, oil painting keep it same things what we have before okay. so all presets um, we'll go to filter sharpen and sharp mask again so just want to add a little bit of a more texturing to this okay next we'll go to hold down alt or option click on a mask so we're hiding and if you notice um, what we're going to do it's select soft round because we modified a little bit Control Z look like edges of this so if we're going to uh, reduce our brush and we're going maybe about 30 percent you can see it is um, wings is rendered but with a painting it's creating this does give this nice painting effect it's make them look a little bit more um, like with the brush stroke so it's actually what I want to do because otherwise they look a little bit too CG -ish. okay so I'll adjust there let's go to this one same we'll just add a little bit more to that dynamics and sometimes if you have it like right here you can see with the lines visible we can <laughs> easy same things we can use it like on this grass hiding some of those elements just creating more uh, paint actually it's also what does it's reduce details and actually reduction in details is not bad it's keeping our focus on a place where we want to keep the people focused so it's actually a good idea sometimes okay so we'll just do it there okay Okay, I think this one is look kind of nice. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and run through the glowing, and we can do manually glowing. It's a, actually you combine lead, uh, layers. You do blur and you do um, soft light and after blending. But what I'm going to do is using Anerik for this one. So we'll go click on the plugin. I do like this plugin and it's not for everyone to use if you don't do too much of the compositing or other things maybe you don't need this plugin but i found that's very useful um, when you do compositing it saves actually quite a bit of time okay so we're inside and let's look on our x-ray see this is portions which is going to effect will just pop up a little bit more on threshold so this should pick up a little bit on her face yep right here and wings i think this is good let disable nice bright remember we can always disable that um, don't make so hard All right there let's go set glow okay let's go save it a uh, couple of like on the bottom right there shadows I notice was problem we'll go fix some of this in a second okay so this is actually very nice because you can see we have a glowing effect which we can modify as we need it one thing what i don't like it it's right here shadow we have it nice but casting shadow is not correct so if we go back to our model and we have right here cast shadows let's select some of this color 
Okay, 10% and just a little bit darken this area. Because this is what happening. It was did not look right. Okay. Because the cast it will be will cast like this. A little bit darker right there. Okay, I think that yeah look a little bit better. We still kind of now brighter. And remember if you don't like it, always can just reduce slightly here and we'll have it yeah these shadows also you know let's go ahead and add a little bit more right there shadows okay so a little bit darker right there okay on her foot as well and it's what looking just sometimes you look and it does not look right so we can come back and fix some of those darks okay um next like what i was saying this one for example i don't like how it's look and we can actually fix this by um going with a podium okay maybe even like right there let's create new area We'll do call this overlay and we'll just go and select a simple clone tool. We'll click select something like green color. We're just even closer to our this 10% and we'll just go very slightly blending out. So if you look what's happening, you can see we kind of start blending. Actually, let's go above dodge and burn. So it's meaning we can 20%. We just take and kind of blending this edge on both of them a little bit better. So we can make it darker. Just a little bit blending. Okay. And let me look on the shadows. We should have it. Yeah, those shadows, they may be a little bit too strong around this area. Let's create a little mask. And um, X 10% and we can just, oops, actually we need to use a brush. I don't want a clone tool. <laughs> and we just need it set 10% black. We'll just slightly Smoink those shadows a little bit out there. So they want, yeah, a little bit less sharper shadows. There you go. Okay, that's better. Okay, now we have it quite a bit bright on our um, glowing, but remember we have it nice mask. So with the black tool, black brush, we can also just slightly reduce with opacity on the glowing. So we don't necessarily need the glowing as the area. You know, we'll just leave it some glowing right there, but we reduce glowing in the wings so we can see a little bit. And here what we have it before and after. I do like glowing in this. Okay. So next, let's go to um, add some noise to this and color correction now works. So for the noise, we'll create new layer. And we'll just go ahead, fill up with 50% gray. And I'm going to filter, noise, add noise. Uh, let's go with the 15% because we are on a higher a resolution and I'll switch to the soft light now we can go closer and preview and you can see how it is blending a little bit better so again if it's too much we can reduce and if we reduce you notice not as on the sky not on the skin so we kind of want to bring a little bit better like around there I think that will work 
matching together this a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead, Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E to create new layer. And this one will be for Filter Forge. I don't know if we will use it or not, but I want to try it just to look. And a Filter Forge, it is actually a pay application. You can get like 30 days free trial, which is fine. But um, if you're getting after it is, I don't remember, 6,000, I don't know how many filters. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of filters there. Um, this one specifically I created for very fast um color correction not color correction but kind of toning and you can see it's you can just click and adjust very fast and of course you can all go into settings and what we're going to modify we're going to add a, some like reducing a little bit on saturation now just add and let's go on cycling well, let's go now from white channel cycle a little bit warmer color this one will be good let's go ahead click apply it will take a little time right now not too long but should take time to apply our filter okay so right here we have it our filter apply you can see it's very easy fast it's creating a nice tone we can just a little bit take it down not so strong because i want to also apply selective color to this and we'll start with our black color don't create black so we'll just take and remove just a little bit minus three percent so no total black um, we'll go to go a little bit to the blue slightly green sand so we'll have it colder light in the shadows we'll switch to the neutral and neutral we'll go pull up opposite we'll go to a little bit warmer colors so it will create for us nice combination colder warmer color and on a light which is our wings right here we'll just bring a little bit down and bring them to same warmer color so we don't want kind of bluish too much actually blue look interesting now we'll go to a little bit warmer that way and you know what let's go look on a red color and sometimes you can kind of move and you can see if you want a little bit darker or brighter i think this way will go better Okay, and let's go to colder. Yeah, just you can play. This one is very, very subjective on a coloring, so you can create as coloring you want it. So whatever you think it will work better for you, you can kind of adjust this way. Okay, and right here we have our coloring done. And we have a two, we have a filter forge. And we have it selective colors. Okay, one before selective colors, let's just create new um, curve. And this curve will just take and go all the way down. Select with marquee tool and fill up with a black color inside. Let's unselect. We'll go to our mask tool for this layer and add a feathering. So it's just easy way to create vignetting. And we'll go to switch to the soft light. And right here you can see we just add a little bit of vignetting focus on our model. Okay, I think this is about all Rust, uh, last things we need to do. Be sure, just go ahead and put it your name if you need it. Okay. I'm just going to click right there and type the photography. Okay, it's probably extremely small. I'm going to switch to white color. Let's make it bigger and definitely not that font. Uh, let's go with the uh, steel fish. So we'll use that font, uh, just a little bit smaller. Okay. 
and I don't I think it's uh, yeah it's adjustly a bit wrong so what we want to do we'll want to go zero on this one bold it's fine maybe like around here okay and opacity very low there you go so it's visible but it does not distract from the image overall i think that is all what we're going to do today so let's uh, see what we've done i'm going to combine all of this together let's go color retouching and this is what we began with our image and we did it change hand food right there we add that change those ones add food hand we add wings podium uh, replace backgrounds and add some clouds and creating is kind of locally a bit more i think it's a good change interesting for the image again um if you're interested the wings is if you're patreon you can download for free if not you can go on the site i provide link for you to download it i have a huge collection and a very 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 high resolution it took me several hours just for one wing to render so it took quite a bit of time to create them um i have it i think like two or three expansions already for them so you'll have it different colors different position and you also have it like backlighting which is nice to create and also the new ones i'll have it it's a podium so it's all these different type of the podiums that you can place it your model after so they're not just look sitting like on this material it's a little bit better platform i think for them okay thank you for watching this video if you like it please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel um leave comments and all your, uh, your support is greatly appreciated thank you